How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to frame a door. All right guys, so in a past video, we showed you how to frame a basic stud wall. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link to it right here at the top of the screen as well as in the description below. But in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to frame a doorway. So I'm going to be explaining to you what the different components of a rough door opening are, how to lay it out in your wall, and how to assemble everything. So before we do that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Your doorway is going to be made up of four main components. Your king studs, which go on the outside, and those are going to be the same length as the rest of your studs in the wall. Inside of that are your jack studs, and that's what's gonna be supporting the weight of your header and everything above it. And the distance between your jack studs is gonna be the final width of your rough opening for whatever size door you plan on putting in. Up above your doorway is your header and then your cripples. Now your doorway can go anywhere you want on your wall, but the cripples above the doorway are gonna follow the same 16 inch on center spacing as all your other studs. Now I'm framing out for a 36 inch wide by 80 inch tall door. And there are several different schools of thought behind this, but in general, we're gonna want our rough opening to be two inches wider than the width of the door and two and a half inches taller than the height of our door. So for my 36 by 80 door, I'm gonna have a rough opening of 38 inches wide by 82 and a half inches tall. So I'll go ahead and give you some quick measurements for each of the components in my application. Of course, that may vary depending on your situation, but my king studs are 94 inches. That's the same length as all of my other studs for this wall. Our jack studs are gonna be 81 inches. Now I know I said you wanted a rough opening of 82 and a half, but these are still going inside of our bottom plate. So that's gonna be the extra inch and a half. So for the jack stud, we're gonna have 81 inches. Then once we cut away that bottom plate at the end, we'll have our 82 and a half. Our header for this application is gonna be made up of two two by fours nailed together. And our width for the header is gonna be 41 inches. And your cripples are gonna be whatever length they need to be to fill in the rest of that space above the door. Keeping in mind that the spacing for your cripples is gonna continue the 16 inch on center spacing of all your other studs. Now, before we get started, guys, there are a few different ways you can frame out your door, assemble your header and stuff like that. This is just the way I'm doing it. Again, I'm not a professional. So if you guys have any thoughts, tips or tricks along the way, make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, all the tools we're using in this video will be linked for you guys in the description below. Let's get started. So we've already cut our top and bottom plates and marked the location of our 16 inch on center stud. Now I need to mark the location of our king studs and our jack studs and those are going to butt right up against each other with a 38 inch gap between the two jack studs. Once we have that marked out we can get ready to start cutting our studs. I start by stacking all of our two by fours together on end and measuring and marking our length. Then I'll go back one by one and cut those down using my circular saw. You'll notice I use my speed square here to make sure I get a nice clean straight cut. Once I've cut all my regular studs, I'm going to go back and cut the jack studs and the headers. Then we can go ahead and get everything laid out on the floor. To fasten everything together, I'm going to be using my Dewalt cordless framing nailer. Once I have the basic wall assembled, I'm going to go back and put in the jack studs on the insides of our king studs. I'm going to nail those in through our bottom plate and then go back and throw in a few more nails to secure it to the king studs. 
Once I've done that, I can assemble my basic header, and this is just gonna be made up of two two by fours stacked on top of each other and nailed together. Now, depending on your application, there is another way to assemble a header for a door. You'll see here another example of two by fours up on end with a piece of half inch plywood between them. Then I'm gonna put my header into place and fasten it in. Now I haven't cut my cripples yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure exactly what length I need those to be. Then I'll cut them and install them above our header, making sure I keep the same 16 inch on center spacing. Now our wall is almost complete. The only thing left to do is to put on my double top plate. Now we can lift our wall and move it into place. And then I'll go back with my level to make sure it's nice and plumb before securing it to the floor and the joist above. Once our wall's in place, we're gonna go back with, once our wall's in place, I'm gonna go back with the reciprocating saw and cut out the bottom plate underneath our rough opening. All right, guys, that's it for how to frame a door. I hope this video helped you out, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't seen our video on how to frame a stud wall, make sure you check that out. And as always, don't forget to check out our links in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.